The Sellout is a satirical and audacious novel that tackles issues of race, identity, and social commentary with razor-sharp wit. Set in a fictional neighborhood in Los Angeles, the story follows a young African-American man who tries to reinstate segregation and own a slave in an effort to bring attention to the persistent inequalities and hypocrisies of contemporary American society. Paul Beatty's provocative and irreverent narrative challenges societal norms and forces readers to confront uncomfortable truths about the legacy of racism and the complexities of cultural identity. The unnamed narrator is an African-American man who embarks on a mission to reinstate slavery and segregate a fictional neighborhood in Los Angeles. His satirical and provocative actions challenge racial dynamics and societal norms. Lincoln in the Bardo is a unique and inventive novel that blends historical events with elements of the supernatural. Set in 1862, the story revolves around President Abraham Lincoln and his grief over the death of his young son, Willie. George Saunders explores the liminal space between life and death as Willie finds himself in a transitional realm known as the Bardo, populated by a chorus of ghosts. Through a collage of voices and perspectives, the novel explores themes of loss, redemption, and the power of human connection. With its innovative narrative style and profound exploration of love and mortality, Lincoln in the Bardo is a hauntingly beautiful literary work. The novel is set during the Civil War and explores Lincoln's grief over the death of his young son, Willie. His mourning and attempts to come to terms with loss are central to the narrative. Various spirits are in the Bardo. The Bardo is a transitional state between life and death. The novel features a chorus of spirits who reflect on their own lives, deaths, and regrets. Milkman is a mesmerizing and atmospheric novel set in Northern Ireland during the Troubles. Anna Burns tells the story of an unnamed young woman known as Middle Sister who becomes the target of rumors and gossip when she is seen spending time with a mysterious older man known as the Milkman. In a society where political tensions and sectarian divisions are rife, Middle Sister finds herself navigating a web of social expectations, fear, and surveillance. Through her introspective and observant voice, the novel delves into themes of identity, community, and the cost of remaining silent in the face of oppression. Milkman offers a compelling exploration of personal agency and resilience in a society gripped by fear and paranoia. Middle Sister, the unnamed protagonist, is an 18-year-old girl living in an unnamed city during the Troubles in Northern Ireland. She navigates a complex web of social and political tensions and becomes the target of unwanted attention when she is believed to be involved with a senior paramilitary figure known as the Milkman. Girl, Woman, Other is a vibrant and powerful novel that celebrates the interconnected lives of 12 characters, predominantly black women, in contemporary Britain. Bernardine Evaristo weaves together their stories, spanning generations, backgrounds, and experiences. Through their diverse perspectives, the novel explores themes of identity, race, sexuality, and the complexities of modern life. Evaristo's lyrical prose and distinctive narrative style capture the unique voices and struggles of each character, while also shedding light on broader societal issues. Girl, Woman, Other is a testament to the resilience, strength, and beauty found in the rich tapestry of human experiences. Ama is a middle-aged lesbian playwright and activist who challenges societal norms and confronts issues of race, gender, and sexuality in her work. Yaz is Ama's daughter, a university student exploring her identity and aspirations in a changing world. Dominique is a talented and ambitious playwright who struggles with self-doubt and the pressures of success. The Testaments is the highly anticipated sequel to Margaret Atwood's dystopian masterpiece, The Handmaid's Tale. Set 15 years after the events of the first novel, The Testaments offers a glimpse into the lives of three women living in the totalitarian society of Gilead. Through their distinct perspectives, the novel unravels the secrets and conspiracies that lie at the heart of the oppressive regime. Atwood's gripping storytelling and keen social commentary explore themes of power, resistance, and the enduring resilience of the human spirit. The Testaments is a timely and compelling exploration of the consequences of authoritarianism and the fight for freedom. Aunt Lydia is a central figure in the oppressive regime of Gilead. The novel provides insight into her backstory, motivations, and her role in shaping the lives of women in the dystopian society. Agnes Jemima is a young girl growing up in Gilead. Through her perspective, readers witness the indoctrination and restrictive upbringing enforced by the regime. 
Shuggy Bane is a poignant and heart-wrenching debut novel that chronicles the life of a young boy growing up in 1980s working-class Glasgow. Douglas Stewart delves into the complex dynamics of family, addiction, and poverty as Shuggy navigates his challenging environment and grapples with his mother's alcoholism. Through vivid and evocative prose, the novel explores themes of love, resilience, and the lengths we go to protect those we care about. Shuggy Bane is a powerful and tender exploration of personal identity and the indomitable spirit of a young boy determined to find his place in the world. The novel opens in 1992, when Hugh Shuggy Bane is 15 years old. He lives alone in a boarding house in Glasgow, working shifts at a supermarket deli, and aspires to be a hairdresser. He leaves work, placing tin cans of fish in his bag. In 1981, five-year-old Shuggy is living in a tenement flat in Sight Hill with his maternal grandparents, Wooly and Lizzie, his mother, Agnes Bain, his father, Hugh Shugbane, his half-brother, Leek, and his half-sister, Catherine. The Promise is a contemplative and haunting novel set in post-apartheid South Africa. Damon Galgut follows the lives of four characters who come together at a remote farm in the Karoo region. As they confront their personal demons, the novel delves into themes of race, identity, and the legacy of the past. Galgut's lyrical prose and atmospheric descriptions paint a vivid picture of a country in transition and individuals grappling with their place in a changing society. The Promise offers a compelling exploration of the complexities of human relationships and the search for redemption in a fractured world. James Laidlaw is a middle-aged South African man who returns to the family farm in the Karoo after the death of his mother. He struggles with his past, his complicated relationship with his father, and the changing political landscape of post-apartheid South Africa. Minty is James' childhood friend and a resident of the small town near the farm. He accompanies James on a journey to fulfill a promise made to a deceased family member. The Seven Moons of Mali Almeida is a captivating and lyrical novel that takes readers on a journey through the life of Mali Almeida, a legendary musician in Sri Lanka. Sheehan Karanatilaka explores the power of music, memory, and the search for artistic transcendence. Through Mali's personal story, the novel weaves together Sri Lanka's tumultuous history and cultural heritage. As the narrative oscillates between past and present, dreams and reality, The Seven Moons of Mali Almeida offers a mesmerizing exploration of the transformative power of music and the indelible mark it leaves on our lives. Mali Almeida is a legendary Sri Lankan cricketer known for his unmatched talent and unconventional playing style. The story follows Mali as a retired, aging man reminiscing about his past and his encounters with cricket, fame, and personal demons. Sheehan Karanatilaka explores the power of music, memory, and the search for artistic transcendence. Through Mali's personal story, the novel weaves together Sri Lanka's tumultuous history and cultural heritage.